Greetings fellow rangers, Blaze Ranger here and welcome to the probably the last episode of our Kingdom Survival Map. I think we've done just about everything we kind of need to do. There's still a few things I want to do. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do is we are going to have a look at all the loot that I brought back from the Kingdom Kingdom Castle. We are on day 215. I believe we started hauling stuff down on day 209. So, oh boy, let's see. I don't even... We'll just start here. This is just sort of odds and ends. We've got food and plants and just... I don't know, no rhyme or reason. They just sort of didn't fit with the rest of the stuff. You can have a look. See, there's a lot of beetroot soup. I didn't... You know, out of all the beds I brought back, I only brought back three. There's one here and then these two. There was tons up there. But if we need them, uh, we can go get them. I did let out those two villagers that were up there. So hopefully they'll go into the castle because... Oh, I didn't leave the door. Oh yeah, there's a door open right beside them. There's a piece of wheat right there. Why don't these guys pick it up? Oh, they're going for their nightly meeting. So we'll get this done quickly. These are all the blocks. I think if some of them I took up there originally with me. These are the ones that I've gotten along the way from digging and whatever. A bunch of... Per oh, there's another bed. That doesn't belong there. Oh, yeah. I wanted to leave that space empty. Oh, well. Yeah, this is the uh, bunch of the stuff we did get up there. Then we've got all these horse equipment and our records and the jewels or... I don't know what you'd call it. It's odd that the gold is exactly 25 but no, did I get any? I must have got just some ingots. I've put everything into the blocks. Cool. So we've got more saddles than we'll ever need, things we haven't ever used one in this episode at all anyways. And in here we've got all the crossbows, the spectral arrows. I think that's what they're called. We have the hatchets, and we have six more totems of undying, including the one I'm carrying. So we have a total of seven. Oh, and if you're wondering why I left this empty, I know you're not, but I made a point of leaving it empty so that when I open the chest, it's not on top of something. I hate that when I open chests. I don't know. Yeah. But there's a few other things. Where'd that piece of wheat go? Must have despawned. There's a few other things I would like to do before finishing off this map. Um, I would like to just dig through one or two of these mountains up here just to see if there's anything on the inside. Uh, what else did I want to do? Oh yeah, I want to finish tearing down these two and just see if there is anything below them. I did take this map up there and replot everything. So you can see the little bits of green grass that are growing up there. Uh, what else? I don't know. I don't remember what it looked like before. There's our house that we have on the side. Uh, I wanted to make a um, XP farm of that with the raiders, like tear it all down and make them so they fall into a pit and they get pushed somewhere with water so that I can, well, just like a regular one, should almost finish that road off again. Oh, and have a look at this, what I did out here. I put these four armor stands down with the armor and the wither, skeleton, wither skulls. Is that what they're called? And then just threw a bunch of banners up here. It's like, well, they're going to think twice before they come knocking on our door. Is it me or is it getting dark? Oh, it's almost nighttime. Yeah, I guess it's getting dark. <laughs> Should have figured that out by all the guys getting together. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to do a couple more things before we finish off this episode. I'll log back in and show you what I end up doing once I do them. Oops, get to it, buddy. So I'm going to quit chatting, go and get things done, and I will check back with you Whoa. in just a moment. Yeah, that goes down there. That's where the border is. It's going to say, why does that end so weirdly? But yeah, that's where the border is. Okay, I'll be right back. Well, we're just finishing up in here. We are, we have our little bed in here, and we dug a tunnel clear through this mountain. I'll show you where we are. So we were over here. Did, ooh, yeah, it's just 
sort of morning. Oh, wow, it's after. Wow, it's after lunch already. Okay, uh, did I close the door? Yep. Yeah, I just wanted to dig a hole through the mountain, see if there's anything in there, and there wasn't. There's a bit of coal, some dirt, some gravel, nothing. Oh, I think there was one piece of iron. Nope, wasn't even that. I thought I found a piece of iron. Oh, well. So, that didn't pan out. But what I did do before I went in there, here, I'll show you quickly. Oh yeah, I've got my, on the bottom right corner, you can see the uh, comments or the subtitles. Because I wanted to know if there was anybody walking around in there. No, but what I did is I leveled these two little islands off and planted some trees on them. That one's still got another tree to grow. This one, I think, yeah, both of them have grown. Yeah, it just makes them a little nicer. Okay, well, there's one other thing I want to try, so just hang on. Okay, we are back in the nether. We, 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 I want to try something. So I am going to head up and I will meet you at the ceiling. So just give me a minute. Okay, we are up here in the, at the very top of the nether. And I want to try something that I know used to work many, many years ago. Well, many years ago compared to now. I don't know what... These are dark oak saplings. And if you grow them here, they should... Should be able to punch a hole in the bedrock. So we're going to give that a shot. I don't know what episode or what series they got rid of that obviously it's gone by now yeah i guess they don't do it anymore oh well it was worth a shot because i really wanted to get up on the top of the bedrock oh well i know in one series i did it i have a i think it's my original series actually i'll have to see if i can I don't even know if I can reload that. It's been so many years since I've been in it. But I tried. Oh, well. All right. Um, gee, I don't know if there's anything else to do in this world. I'm going to give it some thought. And give me a minute. And I will meet up with you. And we will, I guess, finish off this series. So just hang on. Well... I think our time here is just about done. This is, I gotta admit, this is a great map and I love it. I like the layout of it. Not wild about that mountain there, but eh, I'm sure we could do something with it. This would be a great, like, two or three player map. Not to be against each other, but just to, to build and exist and, and stuff. Like I would, I think I would make my base, I would get rid of all this here and make my base up here. Even though that's a really cool little village down there. But, I don't know. That has a lot of potential too, that really does. Oops, not that. I just pushed the wrong button. I don't see anybody. I'm sure the villagers went in that little door there, right in the middle of the screen under the torch. That's the one I used to come out because it was just quicker. I was making so many trips. Oh, did I even tell you how many trips I made? What day are we on? Oh, we can't even see. 225. I took. I think it took me about four or five days to take all the stuff back. And even though I had lit up all of these spawners down here, the raider guys, the illagers, raiders, they were still spawning. So I'm not sure exactly how those work. Let's see. Yeah, we can't see them because everybody's so far away. Just like here, we can't see any of the villagers or the zombies. But even way out there, we've got all the different trees growing. We've got a bunch of wheat fields and potato fields. Still would like a carrot. Didn't get any carrots, but that would have just been a matter of time. Killing enough zombies, eventually one of them would have dropped it. So I'm going to head back to our village over there and we will tie things up. And then I think we will call an end to this episode. So just, to, oh yeah, and you can't put a 
You can't take these guys with a lead. I tried. Oh well. Okay, well I'll meet you back at the village. I'll be there in just a moment. Gotta get my... Oops, ah, where's my tools? Well, okay. Here we are back in our little base. Uh, we are just about done here. I really would have liked to affix the tools before we head out, but it's not really necessary. So I did figure out a way to stop the golems from spawning in here, and that was just put half slabs on the floor so everything kind of is, a, kind of is at a strange height. Um, just an empty barrel up there. We have all our workbenches and everything over here, storage units. We've got all just weapons and some tools and stuff. We've got tons of these. Like we almost have a full chest of crossbows over at the uh, spawning XP farm right there. We have saddles that'll uh, all over the place. We've got some of them here. I think we've got another couple all elsewhere. I just don't even remember where. I, oh, those don't go in there. Those should go. Oh, that. Uh, to heck with it. Too little, too late. Okay, I've got tools and stuff spread out. Look at all these things. I can melt them all down. We've just got wood and building products in here. We have plants and food and organic matter in here, I guess you would call it. In this one, we've got dirt and a couple other weird blocks. This one is full of nether netherrack and quartz and sand and the magma blocks. This is our stone and gravel and andesite stuff. In here, we've got the diorite, granite, and some more cobblestone that just didn't fit in there. Here's we've got here we have stuff that's a little unusual, could be used for brewing. Um, just weird things. Here's our lot of gems and important stuff. And I figured out we actually never could have gone to the or could we have? Let me just look at something here. We never could have gone to the end. Because we don't have Eyes of Ender. We can get um, Ender Pearls, but we can't, we don't, can't get Blaze, well, I, okay, I'm not saying we can't get Blaze Rods, but I just don't feel like looking for a, a Nether Fortress right now. So, we're not going to get, we're not going to the end, and it wasn't a requirement anyways, so, eh, we don't have to. For once, we don't have to kill the Ender Dragon. Uh, but we can't do, sadly, we can't do any brewing or anything either. I like these little islands out here. They, I think they turned out, oh, that other tree grew. I think they turned out quite nice. Actually, I think everything on this island did. I really, really like this map. Would have been interesting if they would have um, given us a, a list of challenges to defeat. And I didn't, yeah, I could have gone through that mountain as well, but, you know, we've sort of conquered everything. And even when I was doing the strip mining, I never came across any large pockets of lava. I mean, there's the one there, and there's one up here. I snooped around inside that nether rack up there. There wasn't actually a lot to see in there. But, what if I got on me? Eh, not much. But I think we're going to call this map complete. I think we've done eh, pretty much everything I wanted to do on it. We had a lot of fun doing it. This is actually a great map if you want to play it. Like I say, there's no list of challenges, so you sort of set your own goals. And if you want to go kill the dragon or spawn the wither and get a beacon, it wouldn't be hard because emeralds are free-flowing here. I mean, I had tons of them. And what was I do? Oh, trading glass. <laughs> yeah, glass is the way to go. Who knew? Well, you guys might have, but... Okay, well, I'm going to call this quits, and I will meet you back at our real home base. So just give me a moment. Greetings, fellow rangers. Blaze Ranger here, and welcome to the ending of a series that we have been playing, instead of the beginning, like I usually do. Um... Well, I just don't usually give that introduction at the beginning, or at the ending of a series. Anyways, we just finished playing Kingdom Survival, and I will be honest, I actually really enjoyed that map. That was great. 
I don't know. It, it seems like every map I play, I really like. There's there's been one or two that are kind of iffy, but I don't know. I really like this one. I like I like it when they're small. I wish it would have been actually. To be honest, I wish it would have been one of those little islands uh, that that were in the river at the end. Those two little islands with the two trees. One of those would have been a perfect starting map. I would have loved to play something like that. But who knows? Maybe the next time. Anyways. We are going to put up our ceremonial, um, oh, what do you call it here, memento. And I thought a little bit about this, and I kind of thought this would be the most appropriate thing to put up. One of the banners from the Raiders, or Pillagers. I kind of thought that was, you know, we had the most problems with them. And actually, they killed us in episode one, so... What can I say? We'll give them the, the the honor of being up there on our wall of fame. But like I said, if it was a great map, you should go play it. I always encourage people to play the maps that I do because the people, you know, they go to the trouble of making it. And actually, this guy, I think this is the map. The guy said he made it in five days. I would have... You know, I don't mind. It was done very well. There's a couple things I would have changed. We really didn't need a spawner for polar bears. I'm not quite sure what that was about. Like having some polar bears, fine, but a spawner for them? I don't know. I guess it could be some kind of XP farm. But I really would have liked to take taken apart that outpost and made that into an XP farm. That would have been fabulous. Three spawners within just a couple blocks of each other? <laughs> but, oh well. So, um, I don't know what else to say about it. It was a lot of fun. Like I say, there could have been a few more challenges. They should have put maybe a mine shaft in the bottom somewhere. Um, maybe anywhere on the island you spawned, it would have been somewhat close to a nether fortress. I just didn't feel like going looking all over. You know, there might have been one right around the corner. It might have been a thousand blocks away. I don't know. But because I didn't have to kill the, the dragon... I mean, we didn't get any soul sand to kill a, to actually make a wither. I had four wither skulls, so we could have had one and had a beacon, but eh. I don't know. I'm just rambling on again. Go ahead. Try the map. I hope you had fun with it. I know I had a ton of fun with it. Uh, not quite sure what I'm going to do next. I have an idea, but I'm not going to give anything away just yet. So I hope you come back to see what I'm doing next time. I'm glad you tagged along all the way to the end of this one. So from me to you, as always, thanks for tagging along. Ooh, looks like it's nighttime almost. Beautiful.